Hey guys, welcome to Mojo Grip Mike here. So today I'm at Aero Adventures down in D-Land, Florida. And the aircraft you see behind me, this is another experimental seaplane called the Aventura 2, which is the two-seater uh, option that they offer. So I just want to do a quick tour of the aircraft for you, uh, go through some of the uh, features, and then I'm actually going to talk to the owner, and he's going to give you a lot more detail about this airplane. All right, stay tuned. So right from the edge, and the nose of the airplane you can see this thing is basically structured as a boat okay if I look if you look at it from the side here I right, see the length of the airplane it's like a boat a boat with wings basically and you see the nose is a lot longer well when I talked to Alex earlier there's a this is a purposeful design and the reason for the longer edge of the nose is that so if somebody were to land with the wheels down in water the airplane is not going to tip over okay and as you can see also it's constructed in a tailwheel version actually this aircraft is only available in tailwheel version and again for similar reason getting it in and out of water uh, can be some some work there so again because of that they made it a tailwheel that way the nose is actually up rather than lower with a tricycle landing gear all right the construct of this airplane is aluminum you can see the material right here. It's all mostly aluminum and then you have fiberglass as part of the airframe, okay? And if you look at the wings here, this material is a four ounce Dacron cell cloth, okay? That's what the wings is wearing. But again, most of the airframe is actually constructed in aluminum. And I'm gonna go, just go around it here. Let me get to the fun part of this airplane. The power plant you're looking at here is an auto conversion Suzuki engine and this power plant uh, puts out about 117 horsepower. That's a lot of power for an aircraft like this. And with that you're climbing at 1200 feet a minute and your cruise speed with the low fuel burn you're looking at 75 to 80 miles per hour. My name is Alex Rolinski. I'm the owner of Aero Adventure. We produce the Aventura line of aircraft, both single two-seater as well as the new Aventura 2 S17. One of the cool things about this airplane is that it is so affordable to maintain and own uh, that I got involved by actually buying a single-seater. This is going back years now, and I fell in love with it. It was just, there was nothing like it. I had been flying ultralights for a long time, and, and including GA airplanes, but ultralights were really where the fun was at. You could go out there, you know, and, and have a 1,200 foot per minute climb. Uh, you could go land anywhere. It was just amazing. So when I got into this and realized that I no longer had to do airport to airport or just fly around my grass strip, I could actually go to lakes, to rivers, to swamps, to, you know, grass, to asphalt, to wherever I wanted. It really opened up a whole new horizon on, in terms of what flying was all about for me. And so I went down, of course, I visited a factory. I talked to the owners at that point. They were interested in selling. So we, we worked out a deal because I really did not want this to go away. Um, and I knew they were back then, you know, it was, we were coming into the financial crisis and it was just a, it was a tough time as a volatile industry. So I uh, got involved that way and we assumed the company and here we are today producing them and live and well. So we're, we're, I'm just so glad to be a part of it because like I said before, to be able to share that experience with so many pilots has just been great. So for the single seaters, I mean, really they, they fit everybody's needs. Um, however, for people who like to fly by themselves or their wives don't really care or don't share that same passion to go with them, uh, the single seaters are great because it's an economical way to achieve the same type of flying that this would give you, but on a, on a much lower budgetary scale. So um, you're not having to invest as much and still getting a great return in terms of fun. Um, also for the for the people who you know really don't want to go through the bureaucracy of, of getting you know their their license and maintaining that and the medical and so on and so forth this is a way to get into flying and not have to worry about that as long as you stay away you know from congested areas and things like that so the single seater price point um, we have the ultralight version which starts at 25,000 and that does include the engine so you know what you want from a steam gauge or glass cockpit layout or in radios or transponder if you decide to go that route that is completely up to you so those would be the additional costs that could be incurred but 25,000 would be everything you need to get off the ground and go fly um, the HP model which is not an ultralight that starts at 27,000 um, that does have a little longer wing and it has flaps so a little more options from that standpoint <clears throat> excuse me but in terms of the flying characteristics are almost identical it's a little faster but you can just have as much fun. So the two-seaters and the single-seaters are very um, close in terms of construction. Uh, one's a little narrower than the other, but it's the same basic setup. 
So from, from that standpoint, everything comes pre-cut, pre-drilled, and pre-bent for you. So it's like an erector set. On that standpoint, you're looking at around 250 hours is a very good estimated build time. Um, it could take you upwards of 300, depending on how much time you want to spend on detail work, but realistically, that's about all it takes. Obviously, this being a fuel-injected 117 horsepower, we push about 530 pounds of static thrust with this, so it really has a lot of get up and go, a lot of power there. Uh, we use a large diameter prop with a lot of meat on it. Um, this thing, and being as light as it is with the infused hull, you get great performance numbers. We're looking at a takeoff distance of about 300 to 400 feet. On the water, it's very comparable to that because one of the things is with this, you, you ease in the throttle on the ground just because you have your thrust is behind your center of gravity. On the water, you don't have to worry about that. You just gun it. So you have very similar takeoff times. The other thing is the climb rate is, is phenomenal in this. You're looking about 1,200 feet per minute. Um, so it's just got incredible performance, a lot of bang for your buck. All of our aircraft do come in kit form. We do offer a builder assistance program, which allows us to help you with that process and then you have the resources here to be able to build it. The S17 model is basically has that 117 horsepower option, but it includes everything you can imagine from an option standpoint. So it's a fully loaded, very well equipped seaplane for right at around $100,000 and you're not gonna beat that price anywhere out there. Okay, go ahead and fire it up. Let's go. 